In some organisms, mating only occurs at specific times of the year. So flowers bloom at a certain time of the year. Certain animals might have a specific mating season. And so populations can be isolated if they have different mating times. While in hominids and apes, this seems less likely. What is known is that the time of receptivity during the menstrual cycle in most apes is very obvious. Whereas in humans, the time of the menstrual cycle where conception is possible is a largely hidden event. A woman might not even know at what point in the menstrual cycle conception is possible. This may have had an advantage in earlier humans because as the human skull enlarged, infants had to be born at an earlier and earlier state, or otherwise the head would have been too large to pass through the female pelvis. But this made infants more and more helpless, and thus increased the benefits of having a stable pair bond, as two adult individuals could better care for an infant which would require longer periods of care. It is thought that the hiding of the moment of receptivity in the menstrual cycle, this might have had the benefit of encouraging males to commit to more stable pair bonds if they wanted to be the father of a woman's children. And this would then have the benefit of ensuring that two committed parents were in the vicinity of this largely helpless infant uh, for a longer period during its infancy. And so this might have been a temporal event in reproductive receptivity, which might have separated the more modern human populations from the ancestral forms where receptivity is a more obvious time. And then males only need be around the females during this obvious period of estrus in order to ensure fathering their children.